What's going on guys? So you decided to join the army and in this video I got my brother here with me. Um, he's an active duty soldier and he went to Fort Jackson for basic training. So in my past videos I've talked about reception at Fort Benning and being at 30th AG and how much that sucked and stuff like that. But a whole lot of you guys are going to Fort Jackson and you might want to know the differences or kind of how, uh, speaking from somebody who went to Fort Jackson, kind of like what his experience was like. So in this video, my brother James, he can tell you um, a little bit about himself or whatever he wants to, but he's, gonna, he's just going to go ahead and talk to you guys about his experience at reception. So um, for me, uh, since we live in North Carolina, we're not too far from Fort Jackson, we took a, uh, a little van down there and it wasn't that bad, you know, like, I think it was like a little under two hour drive. Get there, we get off, it was really chill. Um, we get inside the, um, the building, I, I can't remember what it was called, but it was where you did all your paperwork and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And there was a drill sergeant in there and he was already in processing some, um, some soldiers. And he wasn't really like, like, you know, yelling at him or anything or screaming at him or smoking him. He was just, I mean, it was really chill. It was just like, all right, here's your paperwork. Just make sure you go in order, like listen to me. Like he was all about detail, you know? Mm -hmm. And so we just sat there and waited for them to finish. And when he was finished with them, then we got there and we did our paperwork and it wasn't bad. So then after we finished our paperwork, uh, I think we went to our um, barracks rooms and we got to see where we were gonna be staying at. And it was pretty crappy. It was like, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, just bunks and then you had your wall lockers and then the showers were um, all open, there wasn't any, uh, cover. Really? Yeah, there was no cover, and it was, like, the dirtiest. Thing. Were they old, or were they, like, old no, barracks? they were the old. They oh. were, it was, like, old mobile home kind of. Oh. Was, yeah, they were. Ours were new. At 30th uh, AG, they were, they were new. So, the barracks at 30th were better than the barracks yeah. at basic. So, and so yeah, yeah, it was gross. <laughs> and then the sinks and stuff were all, like, moldy and whatnot. And anyways, so... We got to see where we were going to be staying at, and then we didn't really do much that day. We just kind of like stood around and waited, or actually, sorry, we watched a video about like becoming a soldier, and like we um, were given a chance to buy like if we, you know, were to graduate, like the yearbook and stuff, and, like all the pictures in the CD that showed. You got to do that right away? Yeah, like right away. And so like, we it was retarded. We did that like the seventh week of basic. Yeah, but it was retarded though, because like if I would, if, like after, like the end of basic, I wouldn't have bought it. I would be like, screw that, I don't want it. But like there, you're like all hoo and you're like, oh, I want it. yeah, of course I want this. And then you buy it and spend like 60, 70 bucks like for like stupid stuff. And like, I don't recommend buying it. I think it's retarded because like, I mean, you might think it's going to be cool and like, I don't know, sentimental, I guess. I know people are like that. I don't really care. The DVDs it. and stuff? Yeah, DVDs. I, I got the DVDs because I figured mom and dad. And yeah, because like. You, you think, only see yourself like two times in the whole thing. Yeah, it's not worth it. And then the yearbook, like you have your pictures in there and then the pictures in the back aren't even pictures of your platoon and your company, they're actually like two years prior companies. So like, that's not even you, you're paying for that. So just in case you guys were wondering for me, since we were just talking about pictures, I figured I would show you guys uh, my platoon picture. So if you ever got a chance to look at the platoon pictures, I got mine here at Fort Benning. And um, that's kind of cool, you can see the Xbox in the background, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's pretty cool. So I, he said he kind of regretted not getting the platoon picture, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, he just told me that. Um, but yeah, so get your individual pictures, and I would probably get a platoon picture. But as far as the DVDs and all that stuff, like, yeah. unless you really want to, I would not suggest doing that. So, yeah. and then um, another thing, when you get to the end, you're gonna have this T-shirt guy come up, and he's gonna start offering you stuff. I know this isn't about reception, but don't buy that stuff either because you get made fun of if you wear it at your unit. So, <laughs> it's like I've seen so many guys. They walk up there and they're like, "Oh my gosh, he's wearing a basic training shirt." And I'm like, "Ooh, that's funny." But so, anyways, um, <clears throat> we got done watching the videos about you know becoming a soldier, and I was like, they made it like really cool to get you like motivated to want to go to basic and stuff. And so, um, we had like this little box lunch. It was it wasn't that bad actually. And then um. We get to our, we go back to our barracks, and then we just kind of like chilled and like got all our stuff ready. We still had our phones at the time too. They hadn't taken our phones, and I was constantly texting, texting my family. I was like, hey, you know, I might get my phone taken here in an hour, so if I don't text back, you know, that's why. And so then we, you know, went to bed, woke up at like, gosh, I know it was sunlight out, so it wasn't like super early because we didn't do PT. 
Yeah, like, you don't do PT at reception. Yeah, you just wake up, and then as soon as you wake up, go outside, formation, make sure everybody's there, and then you go off and do what you're going to do. And you never know what you're going to do. So, I mean, and yeah. you don't want to ask the drill sergeants, like, hey, drill sergeant, what are we doing right now? And then you're going to It doesn't drill. matter. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> matter. So you just kind of like go with the flow and do whatever they tell you to do. And it's just a whole lot of waiting. So, like, I remember tons of times, I mean, you just like, we go in, there was this big building, and on each side, it had, you know, a certain thing to do. And there was these big old benches and stuff, and we just sit there. And you you didn't just sit there and just kind of, like, look at the wall. Like, you had to be reading something and actively doing something, and you couldn't be talking. And if you were t- caught talking, you know, usually, like I said, like, they weren't that, like, you know, tough on us. Like, they were just like, oh, if you talk again, you're going to get in trouble, blah, blah, blah. Like, everybody smoked you, you're going to have to Yeah, they can't. I mean, you said they smoked you they somebody smoked one time. But, the, one but time. guys, at reception, um, their goal is just to get you through reception and get you to basic without being hurt. Yeah. So if they smoke you, they run the risk of injuring you. So they're pretty much, they're, they're not going to smoke you. It's yeah. pretty much guaranteed for doing anything. So, um, but and if they do, it's just going to be like a couple push-ups. Yeah, that's, yeah it'll just be it. a couple push-ups. It's not like they're going to kill you at reception. Even if they did smoke you, so yeah. you shouldn't fall asleep or do anything like that to get yelled at, right? Fall asleep, yeah. But you know the consequences I, aren't that bad. I know at um, Jackson they had this big old auditorium, and they had really comfy seats, so <laughs> like that was Hard the worst. Work. It was like you know, like you're you're relieved, you're like oh finally I get to sit down, you know, because you've been sitting or you've been standing up all day, and you get there and like you sit down and you're like good, and you're like oh man, I'm like I'm starting to fall asleep now, and like you don't want to do that because. They're gonna yell at you in front of everybody. And it's just like the most embarrassing. I remember this one time at my. Um, I don't know if I've told you this or not, but um, it was like the day before we left reception, so we had nothing left to do. There was only like a couple people in the whole company that was about to leave that had a couple things left to do, and we were in the big room where there was a whole, like there was like Alpha Company, Bravo Company, whatever, and they literally just told my company go to sleep. It was hilarious. Like we were sitting there in those desks. Where the whole week they had been yelling at us, you know, don't put your head down, do this, you know, don't talk, all that stuff. And then they were like, all right, everybody put your heads down and go to sleep. So they, they made us go to sleep. So if you were trying to stay up, then they wouldn't let you. They were like, put your head down. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, they didn't do any of that to us. It was, <laughs> was we had one to time. stay awake the whole time. And so like that was... Uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, yeah. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Gosh. And so, you know... That was the first day, and then the second day was like a whole lot of waiting. I can't remember like exactly what we did each day, but I do remember though, like when we got our hair cut, like that was the worst for me, cause yeah. like, I mean when they when they when they tell you it's rough, like they 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 do not care about they you. Just they just grab they your grab head. your head and they just jerk it around, and like if you're being tense at all, they just like they're even more rough with you. <laughs> and I remember I was like laughing about it, like when my friends came out, like they had their head shaved and whatnot, and then. Whenever it came my turn, and he, I, I was looking in the mirror at myself, and when I saw him shave that first bit, I was oh, like, we were turned around. We didn't oh, see. Oh no, he. I he didn't had, see. Whenever I was leaving, sure I, I was looked. I peeked, I peeked back at the window or the mirror before I had left because we were facing the opposite way of the mirror. I looked back and I was like, "Crap, I look retarded." <laughs> yeah, I looked. Abs- I look like if you see my cat, it's like I'm straight out of prison. Like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I remember when we took the pictures. They take you in the stream. We got a bunch of our stuff like the things that they issue you at reception and they take you into this one room where you take your picture for your cat and I was so mad and I was just like clenching my teeth and you can tell it in the picture <laughs> it's like everybody who sees my my, my, my cat is like dude you look like you just came out of prison or something like yeah dude I was so mad that day it was like so they took your picture like right after you got your head shaved basically not immediately um, after but shortly after because that's how it was for us we did like one thing and then we got our picture taken after we got our haircut. We got our or we got a haircut like in the morning, and then we got the cat picture taken at night. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was like ours. The same ours day. was like within an hour. Oh no, no. But I remember so. everybody had like, because I mean, you have all this hair, the sun doesn't get to it, and everybody would look like Q-tips. It's hilarious. Yeah. But um, and you get your head burnt. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they were. They always. They always said like, uh, you, you have to make sure you wear sunscreen because if you don't. It's like damage to comp or to government property, or whatever. That's what you are. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So, um, by the way, guys, if you feel like, oh, I'll, I'll shave my head before basic, you're still gonna have to gonna get it. your head shaved. Even if you shaved your head the day before you left for basic training, yeah. you're still gonna have to pay like seven, eight bucks or whatever it is for them just to go over your head again. So the only the only guy that I saw that didn't get shaved was a guy. He was probably um, 
prior in the Navy, and um, he like like the before we got our head shaved, he went and got a razor. So it, oh, he did was, he get in trouble for oh, that? He got in a lot of trouble. Yeah, so we don't do that. We either. had to do um, razor blade shave his head, and he got in trouble. Yeah, so. so. You can't do that, and you can't do that in basic too, because he tried to continue that in basic, and he got in a lot of trouble yeah. with that again. See, our dude, the, so. the, 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 the dude that did that for us, he um, he had like a hair issue, but he couldn't even grow hair really well, which is why he shaved yeah. his head, but still couldn't do it. Yeah, so don't do that. Um, like I said, the, like the days aren't really that, I mean, besides being boring and just staying around and hurry up and wait all day, I mean, it's not that bad, because like I said, you're not getting smoked, you're just kind of bored all day and you're just waiting and you're just you're really anxious to go to get to go to basic yeah and then you get there you're just like I want to go back at least I don't know that's what I was but you wanted to go back to I kind of did because I was just like this is retarded I was like oh. so basically to sum it up so far um, just so you guys know the difference is um, something that I found is that Fort Jackson you actually get to keep your phone the whole time I got my phone taken within the hour basically as soon as we got there we watched like a video they separated us up. We went up to the barracks and then we stripped down and put on our PT clothes and they took our phones and took all of our civilian stuff. So they took that instantly. For you, you kept it. Um, your barracks sucked, right? Yeah, so your barracks sucked. Mine was actually pretty good. My um, barracks at reception were much nicer, I think, than our basic training barracks. Our, our basic training were way nicer. They were nicer. Yeah. Um, and then like the order guys, so at reception, you'd say the order, I think the order of which you do things might be just slightly different, kind of like basic training. It all just kind of depends. Um, but yeah, so. They, I mean, they had, um, when you go in there, or for Jackson, they have a big sign on the wall. It literally tells you day one this, day two this, day three oh, this. Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah, but we didn't follow it. They didn't, they didn't <laughs> follow it at all. So you're like, oh, today we're gonna get our uniforms, blah, blah, blah. Or, we're gonna be doing this, or we're gonna be shipping out today, and then the day comes and it goes, and you're like, "What?" So, what was it like getting the your uniform for the first time? Uniform? I remember I was I don't know, I was excited because I don't know like even though you're not you haven't even started basic yet, I started feeling like a soldier mm -hmm. a little bit, I guess. And I don't know, like I love I, I mean I loved wearing the uniform, you know, and then when we, I got the boots, I loved that until I got the blisters. Um, but yeah um. so yeah so uh, for all you guys wondering if you're thinking in the back of your mind like when do I actually start to feel like a soldier it kind of first starts when you get your uniform and you put on yeah. the uniform and you know you know you haven't gone to basic and done anything but since you're just wearing the United States Army uniform you're just like oh, I feel legit and then you get the boots and you got the whole shebang yeah. it's, it's pretty cool feeling so um, you pretty much covered most everything. So what was it like kind of the night leading up to leaving for basic and then the morning of? Leading up to it, I remember the night before, I didn't sleep a whole lot. I kind of just like stayed up on my phone and was texting my family and texting my girlfriend, you know, telling them I love them. And, um, so I didn't go to bed until late that night. And then we woke up and same thing, it was, you know, we got we went downstairs, we brought all our stuff, we had it all shoved in our um, duffel bags. And we put them out on the um underneath the uh it was i guess it was a drill pad and yeah yeah and um we just sat there and we just waited and we sat on our bags and they went over stuff with us telling us like if we had any questions talk to them and um i was just really nervous and when they actually got there it was i don't know like the the recept the reception drill sergeants aren't that like i said they're not that hardcore and then when the actual drill sergeants get there i don't know i was a little intimidated because like most of the dudes were like pretty, pretty jacked and like, I don't know, <laughs> but they get there and they had the LMTV. We started throwing all our stuff on there and we still waited around. For you like, threw your stuff on an LMTV? Yeah. Oh, we carried everything and put it in our seats. Mm -hmm. And so whenever we were getting off the bus, we were like dragging everything off and trying to hurry. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we threw all our stuff in there because later There's on, a difference. Yeah, later on, they backed it up and then we, we got our stuff. We had one duffel bag with us though. Oh, we so had, we had was two. It, was we it had one? two, we had, um... Well, we had the one duffel bag and then the laundry bag that was filled up. So you had your you have your two duffel bags. This is for us, and one of the duffel bags was in the other duffel bag. So you basically had one big packed full duffel bag, and then we had a laundry bag that we were told to put certain things in. And so we were we had the duffel bag with us and the laundry bag 
getting onto the bus. I'm trying to we think. didn't put anything on a. On I TV. can't remember. I remember the album TV driving up, and I was like, oh shoot. And I know we put something on there, but I remember though when we were on the drill pad, we had both our bags because that's what they used there. I mean, they were using those to mm-hmm. smoke us, you know, because we, we had to hold them over our heads and um, you know whatnot. But um, yeah, so got there and we all got on the bus and then we went off. Did um the drill sergeant? Did your current drill sergeants talk to you before yes. y'all left? Yeah, they yeah. were. They were asking us if we had any questions. And oh. Did they like intimidate really... y'all? Because for us, they the drill sergeants kind of was like, "Hey, this is your last chance. If you don't want to go, let us know now." And we had one guy. It was like me, and I had just talked to the I had just talked to the guy the night before because he was saying, "Oh, I think I, I think I'm gonna stay here." And I was like, "Why? Like you're just prolonging the inevitable. If you want to join and go through, just do it now." Yeah. But he ended up raising his hand still. I think we maybe had one person when it wasn't that bad. I mean, they were just telling us they're like, because a lot of people, um, like whenever they you would address the drill sergeant, you have to say drill sergeant first, you know, or I know they were messing up calling them by their their name, mm-hmm. and they were the drill sergeant was like, you're gonna get screwed, you know, or you're gonna get messed up, you know, when you actually get there, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, the first couple um, days, because people weren't used to it, they were mm-hmm. just getting smoked. Well, they were getting us smoked left and right because. It's not individual punishment, right, you know? And especially, I mean, even though at reception, because, I mean, like, when the guy was talking one time, he, I mean, they smoked everybody, like I said, and they used to do a bunch of mm-hmm. push-ups, but, yeah, so. Yeah. All right. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I think we kind of covered up pretty much everything. So, if you're wanting to know some of the stuff we're going to do in the future, um, we'll talk about basic training next, so his experience at basic training, um, so you guys can get another perspective of that. Um, some of the other things we'll talk about is airborne, yep. right? Um, and he also went to pre-RASP for a little bit. So all you guys want yeah. to go Rangers, um, he can talk a little bit about the whole pre-RASP experience and um, have a much better idea um, of what to expect for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, like it. Uh, comment any questions you have down below. I'll try and uh, answer as much as I can. Um, so if you like that, do that. And yeah, so. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Drop.